I'm headed off to Pigment Tokyo, an art supply store with thousands of colored pigments. For an artist, art supply stores are like candy stores. They're so yummy. Oh my god. What is this? I've never seen a brush like that. This brush, it's wider than my face. This brush is so tiny. <laughs> what is it? Now this is a liner brush. I've never seen anything like this ever. This is not a candy store. This is artist fantasy land that you didn't know existed. One of the reasons I buy art supplies in person is because you get to touch everything. These are binders that are used for paint. Sap green. This is called dried carmine insects. You can paint with bugs. I don't even know that I would call this place an art supply store. It's more like a lab, a museum. Hi, Velazquez. A little worried about pulling out my wallet in this place. That brush is made out of a peacock feather. I've never seen these before. These are tools for doing gold leaf. The question is, what do I buy? This just makes me think that I've been shopping at Walmart when really I could be shopping at Tiffany's. Noticing a lot of these pigments here, some are chunky and some are really refined. This is like if you've been painting with 50 greens and now you're being told there are 500,000. These look so yummy. They're even in these cute little jars. Usually I don't like for lesson colors, but I don't know. <laughs> these are really enticing. Just so. I found a tiny little gum Arabic. I think it's watercolor that makes bleeds. These are called fantasy paints. They certainly are. <laughs> Honeycomb effect. So weird. I only spent two hundred dollars. 